So we've done talking to doctors one and two. So number three is when they get condescending and they push um, graded exercise therapy and cognitive behavioral therapy. Now, if they get too condescending, they won't listen to you at all, get another doctor. Don't even bother. It's, it's so hard to find a good doctor, especially in some countries. I know it's easier in the US, even though it's so hard in the US. Um, in Britain, thankfully, they just changed the NICE guidelines. Um, that is something to remind them of. But what I usually do when they start to do that is I pound them with respectable names that they have to answer to. So I say, yes, um, doctors who aren't up on the recent research might think this is psychosomatic and that GET and cognitive behavioral therapy are the answer. However, the PACE study after a lawsuit and the um, methods were actually exposed um, has been proven to be a deeply flawed study. Um, the patients won the lawsuit. It was exposed that they changed their data. Or they Sorry, they changed their goalposts so that patients who actually got worse during the study were called cured because they moved the goalposts. Um, you could actually get worse and be called cured. Um, and that was revealed and exposed. Um, naturally, the doctors in the PACE study are doing their best to protect their careers and are doubling down on GET and cognitive behavioral therapy. Um, but, and in the UK, that is a problem. They've done a big PR campaign. Um, however, I would go back to the evidence from institutions like Stanford, Harvard, um, and Columbia University has been accepted by institutions like Mayo and the CDC, though frankly, Mayo took its time, um, but the CDC has for at least six years now um, accepted the current research that shows that this is a biomedical condition. We also have proof from um, Stanford's uh, research. They did a blood test. Um, it is not widely available, unfortunately, but they were able to expose cells to stress and the stress cells of CFS ME patients um, did not recover and the healthy ones did. And it was a definitive biomedical test for ME-CFS. Why it's not widely available, I assume, you know, it's, it's funding, it's developing a test that is easy to administer, that is easily distributed. It's not about whether the test is accurate or not. It's about distribution and uh, cost and all that. So um, it has been proven. Um, it's differences in the gut biome have been established. Um, also, uh, a regular MRI doesn't show anything, but an active MRI, you can watch someone decline as they do math problems in the active MRI. There are various things that you can look up that have been proven. Um, and I would just keep saying Harvard, Stanford, Columbia University, the CDC, just keep throwing those at, at them. Um, I will provide a series of links in this um, that you can send your doctors um, to educate them. If they refuse to be educated, then, you know, it's time to get a new doctor. Um, I can also link doctor resources that are not just this study, this study, this study, but um, there are resources from the... Um, there's a consortium of ME CFS doctors around the world who have recommendations for treatment, and I will link those as well. So good luck.